Shh. Hey guys, Bob Midwood of Bob Midwood's GDT Golden Dog Training. Uh, today I want to talk about crate training and how important the crate can be to your dog. First of all, you need to understand that the crate only needs to be big enough for the dog to go in, stand up, turn around, and lay back down. This is crucial when you get a puppy and you're crate training the puppy. Most of the crates will come with a metal divider, which you see right here. And this gets fitted inside, and as the dog grows, you can continue to move it back. The crate should never be a place where you put the dog for punishment. The crate should be always a good thing and a safe haven for the dog. With a puppy, I recommend to families, when the puppy is in the crate, tell the children he's off limits. That's his safe zone. Now, how do you train your dog to get him to go into the crate? A lot of people will struggle with their dogs, they will throw them in, it's not the way to do it. What you want to do is you want to, to train the dog, point their head towards it, give them a gentle guide, say, pet off, pet them, and close the door. Keep the situation calm, don't get the dog all worked up and excited because that will only make it worse. If the dog gets older and gets more used to going in on cue, you can just look at him and go, come on, Cole, come on, get off, get off. Good girl. Close it up and leave. And the kennel becomes a good place. So this is Bob Midwood, and we got Colby here. Uh, from Bob Midwood's GDT, and watch us on Facebook. Keep the good energy going, and know how to use the crate the right way. Have a good one. Come on.